Underwater volcano is Earth's biggest. Nature news and comment. Nature.com. Submap register. Login. Nature. International Weekly Journal of Science. Search Go Advanced Search. Home. News and comment. Research. Careers and jobs. Current issue. Archive. Audio and video. For authors. News and comment. News. 2013. September. Article. Nature Vertical Bracket News. Sharing. Underwater volcano is Earth's biggest. Tamu Massif rivals the size of Olympus Mons on Mars. Alexandra Witz. The 5th of September 2013. Article Tools Rights and Permissions. The slope of lava layers within Tamu Massif indicate that it formed from a central volcanic vent. William Sager, University of Houston. Geophysicists have discovered what they say is the largest single volcano on Earth, a 650-kilometer-wide beast the size of the British Isles lurking beneath the waters of the Northwest Pacific Ocean. The megavolcano has been inactive for some 140 million years. But its very existence will help geophysicists to set limits on how much magma can be stored in Earth's crust and pour out onto the surface. It also shows that Earth can produce volcanoes on par with Olympus Mons on Mars, which, at 625 kilometers across, was until now the biggest volcano known in the solar system. A Eurovis says that here in Earth we have analogous volcanoes to the big ones we find in Mars. A Euro says William Sager, a marine geologist at the University of Houston in Texas. A Euro I a Euro trademark I'm not sure anybody would have guessed that point. A Euro Sager and his colleagues describe the structure, named Tamu Massif, in Nature Geoscience in the 8th of September 1st. A Euro small tilde Tamu Euro trademark is an acronym for Texas A&M University in College Station, where Sager was formerly employed. Tamu Massif has been long known as one of three large mountains that make up an underwater range called the Shatsky Rise. The rise, about 1,500 kilometers east of Japan, formed near a junction where three plates of Earth Euro trademark S crust once pulled apart. Shallow rock cores from Tamu had previously revealed that it was made of lava. But geologists thought that the mountain, which rises four kilometers from the sea floor, might have built up from several volcanoes erupting such that their lava merged into one pile. The islands of Hawaii and Iceland were built this way. Sager and his colleagues were startled by findings they made after sailing the research vessel Marcus G. Langsif over Tamu in 2010 and 2012. They used air guns to send seismic waves through the mountain and monitored the reflections. The seismic waves penetrated several kilometers into the massive Euro and showed that all of its lava flows dipped away from the volcano Euro trademark S summit, implying a central magma vent. A Euro from whatever angle you look at it, the lava flows appear to come from the center of this thing, a Euro says Sager. Over time, the lava coursed downhill and then solidified, building up a volcano with a long, Low profile similar to that of a shield laid in the ground. The world the Euro trademark as biggest active shield volcano, Mauna Loa on Hawaii, has an aerial footprint just 15% of Tamu Euro trademark as a Euro, but Mauna Loa is taller, rising 9 kilometers from sea floor to summit. Scott Bryan, a geologist at the Queensland University of Technology in Brisbane, Australia warns that not all of Tamu may have come from a single magma vent. There could be separate sources, deeper than the seismic waves penetrated, that could have oozed out lava and inflated the mountain from below, he says. Because ship time is at a premium, the study is one of the first to peer at the internal geometry of these massive underwater mountains. It is possible that other megavolcanoes are waiting to be discovered. A Euro, there may be bigger ones out there, a Euro says Sager. Journal name. Nature. Doi. Doi colon 10.1038 slash nature.2013.3680. References. Sager, WW and others. Nature GSA. HT.